We are tired of living in unseen clutter. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. Didn't you guys already declutter your house? Yes, but we never tackled the things inside of the cabinets, the things unseen. Matt, how do you feel about uh, decluttering the kitchen and the house with me today? <laughs> this was all you're doing. No, it wasn't. I am the one that organized. Oh my it. gosh, not even. You but you don't, don't keep it that way. You 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 don't put them in the right spots. You don't keep it that way. You don't keep it that way. You don't keep it that way. Yeah, I'm gonna cut you out of this shot. That hit already cuts me out. <laughs> you see what I gotta deal with? Okay, so for some reason the audio didn't work here, but I was just explaining that this drawer was just filled with a bunch of random stuff like hand sanitizer, masks, and whatnot. So here I'm just cleaning it out, I'm taking everything out, and then I'm vacuuming it, and then I'm wiping it down, and I noticed that there was just a ton of stuff in the cracks in the back, so I asked Matt to come get it for me. Matthew? Yes? <laughs> There's stuff behind here, I need your help. I know. So yeah, here he is just fishing for things like scissors and masks. And yeah, there was just one box that was impossible to get out, but he did it, so thanks, Matt. Okay, so after I put everything back in, next was the tech drawer, or whatever you want to call it. So I don't know what was going on with our microphone, but basically I was just explaining that this was a drawer filled with cords, hard drives, things that honestly shouldn't belong in a kitchen. <laughs> so I decided to finally go through this. Okay, it's been a few hours. I'm gonna kind of leave that alone until Matt comes back because he has run some errands, but I'm going to do the dreaded baby drawer, I guess, like supply, I don't know. This is for a high chair, this is breast pump stuff. It's just a hot mess, so let's get through this. And now we are in our basement. It's a mess. So eventually what we want to do is like get rid of as many things as possible so that we can eventually maybe turn this into our podcast area. I don't know, but it is so messy. Look at this. We honestly haven't cleaned up since my 30th birthday. Let's go. Hey. Oh, hey. What's your back doing over there? <laughs> it's good to see you. Welcome to my basement. I got it clean. <laughs> you ready to party? Hey, 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 guys um i'm sitting here really thinking that that decluttering video that we did was literally a year ago i remember we were putting christmas decor away it's not christmas day, obviously and i remember wanting it to be clean for the new year and the reason why i'm thinking about it again is because last night matt and i always clean um the house before we go to bed so that we can wake up and it's like new you know like putting toys away and doing the dishes and stuff like that but last night we were just both so tired we're like Let's not clean, let's give ourselves a break. So, I mean, it's not like the worst in the world, right? But in general, we still have like a lot of clutter and um, it's just messy. There's just so many things we wanna get rid of and it's not as bad as last year, 
but I need to finish this and I'm the type of person that likes to get it done as fast as possible because once I'm not in the mood anymore, I just won't do it. So I got started that video last week and then I just wasn't in the mood to do it anymore, so I stopped. But today, I'm, my goal is to finish cleaning this house and getting rid of stuff and putting it away in one day, so. Let's do this. So I'm going to tackle this sunroom. As you can see, it's pretty empty, but it's just so, like it just literally, no, there's nothing, like it, it can either be a playroom or something. We really have no like design for it yet. I really think with this video, I'm going to like put those chairs on Facebook Marketplace or something or sell it. <laughs> Let me show you. How much would you buy that for? How much should I sell that? Like, I don't, this is the previous homeowner's thing, but let me know. I'm thinking 50 a piece. I mean, they could be really beautiful in some homes, but I feel like it doesn't make much sense in the summer. This is just like a chair. Look how crappy it is. The um, cover got dirty and they were white. And I guess we just took them off and never washed it. And then, so I guess we started sitting on it. I can't even sell this. This is trash. This is straight trash. Let's organize and make this sunroom empty and clean. It'll be a temporary place for the kids to kind of play and run around. It's nice and bright and it's pretty big. So we'll just put a lot of the bigger kids toys in here. And um, anything that I want to sell that's big, I might just mm, leave just because I don't know where else to put it, but I'll put it in like a corner. Okay, so as I'm editing this, I am just like, why is it like this all the time? Like, why do we struggle with clutter so much? You know, it's been a year. It has been better than last year, but if you guys have tips down below and how we can kind of just like get past this and be better, let me know. Okay, so I really got in the zone and I started cleaning and I didn't film that much, but now I'm in my craft room, which I cannot manage to just keep clean. I just really can't. So this is what my kids are currently doing. This is the mess they made. They love to play with foam. And yeah, this is just what it looks like 24 seven. Cause I just feel like I come in here and I like to make stuff. And then when I do it, my kids will come in, in here and just get a hold of anything that they could possibly put their hands on. And I'm not gonna blame it fully on them though, because it is really just quite the mess in here. And I don't know why. I just can't seem to keep it clean. And this, this should be like my oasis. This should be like my happy space. You know, the walls are also really empty. I at least want to be clean. Before we really decorate this house, it has to be clean. Like, you know what I mean? You have to have like an empty canvas, which is like one of the things that I wish, if I could go back in time, when we got this house, they left all the furniture in here. Well, not all, but like mostly. Mostly, most of the beds, like everything. And that could sound like a bonus, but then it's like, none of it is yours. You feel like you're just kind of stuck with the furniture and stuck with the way everything looks. So it sounded good at the time, but then we, I just kind of wish we came into an empty house. So it could feel very minimal and we could just fill it with our stuff instead of having things from the previous owners. And although they left things like the dining room table, they have a really beautiful glass. Um, dining room table, like it's beautiful, but it wasn't ours. And um, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not trying to complain. I'm just trying to miss, make the point that like I feel like it ends up filling your space with more stuff um, than you intended. Um, so now I'm just trying to get in the process of like emptying out this space because we have too much stuff, and then organizing in the sense of like getting all the stuff that we don't need so we can either sell it or donate it um, into one place. So yeah, I really need to empty it. All right, it is day two and I just look at the footage. It was literally October 25th when I filmed the decluttering for this kitchen and today is December 5th. So, um, talk about putting something off. I'm about to show you my most hated this is a really strong word. Despised area of the entire kitchen. Um, right here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. Okay, I know, I mean, it just kind of looks like bleh, but it's just kind of got stains. Things are not neat. It is dirty and I use it a lot. So I just emptied this out. It is dirty. So we're gonna clean this. Much better. Oh, 
powder or flour because my kids were playing with it. But um, much simpler, more of the stuff that I use regularly on top and on the bottom, some bigger appliances that I don't really use. So the last thing that Matt and I did was clean the dining room area because it was just really junky. But being honest, there really is kind of no end. I mean, we got to like a happy point of things not being as cluttered, but this is what it looks like currently, still in the process of trying to be good at decluttering. But yeah, just let me know if you guys have any tips on what you do to stay on top of everything. I would love to hear your thoughts and I hope you enjoyed this video.